Ladies and gentlemen, 8 p.m. sharp, just like we said, welcome. It is Thursday Night Live. I am John Go. That's Blaine Jones. It is April 30th, 2020. Do you know where your kids are? Well, my kid is about to smash on my door any second now and go, daddy, 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 and it's going to be great. Uh, this is Thursday Night Live on the Glorious Hive blockchain. Of course, CDP Talk. We are streaming live on Vim. We are streaming live on Periscope slash Twitter, and we are streaming live on Facebook. Thank you guys for coming and uh, hanging out. Mike, what's going on? Welcome, Zoltan. Hello, Rob, Jen, Kimberly, Bonnie, Sheila, everybody, Eliana, Michael Dell, Howard Fulmer, Zoltan. I've already said Zoltan. Anyways, welcome, guys. Uh, Lots of stuff to go through. And guess what? I said it. I meant it. There's a PDF. So we have a PDF for tonight's um, uh, beautiful uh, talk. You uh, You can download it there. I threw it into Facebook. Uh, um, uh, geez, if you're not in, if you're not here at Facebook and you're streaming at other places, uh, damn, I didn't think of that. Uh, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> oops, uh, it's clicktrackprofit.com slash v2 slash uploads slash write bl.pdf. Hi, Blaine, how you doing, man? I am great. Just doing great or what? I'm doing great. I finally finished up something uh, on the new CTP. Uh, Zoltan, what's up with usernames uh, for all the early birds? I gave them all wheel spins, uh, and they already have them. And I might give away more. It depends. Um, the current jackpot is at fifty-two dollars. Uh, so I'd really uh, like that to be won at some point very soon. So it doesn't get much higher because we have to pay for that. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't that doesn't come out of anything, right? That just comes out of our pockets, right? Yeah, that comes straight from our pockets. Straight from our pockets. It's awesome. It's awesome. Anyways, uh, guys, uh, honored to have you here. It's uh, you know we always love Thursdays. Mondays are cool because we can fire people up for the work week. Thursdays is kind of I don't know about you guys, man. I used to love Thursdays when I was a kid. You want to know why? Because Thursdays was every two weeks. That's when my mom got paid. It was payday on Thursdays. And that means we get to go grocery shopping on Thursdays. So I have a deep love for Thursdays. And I hope you guys do as well. So, of course, I laminated this. This is what we're going to be talking about. As well as we will be diving into more Hive slash CTP talk, news, gossip, and scandal. I guess the big news, I guess we'll hit it up with news before we showcase this fancy dancy PDF that you guys can download and follow along with, which will be our discussion tonight. Um, big news on the CTP talk front. We are now listed at state of the dApps. That is right. The, uh, the CTP talk platform has been approved and listed on state of the dapps.com. We are listed as a hive project. So we fall under the hive umbrella. We are on the hive blockchain. Very, very excited uh, about that. So if you have not yet checked out state of the dApps, go check out. So we're obviously at the bottom of the list right now because we just got listed and they need to get the data going. Uh, but if you want to go check us out, we are at uh, state of the dApps.com. Just type in CTP talk and you'll be able to find us under the hive dApps. Uh, and just really, really exciting because to me, that is kind of like our first dive into, uh, you know, the, the real, the real, the real marriage of, of affiliate marketing and blockchain. I mean, you have the affiliate marketing community, the CTP swarm, and now you got the hive blockchain meeting and it's being featured on state of the DAP. So, uh, I will do a post about that on the CTP blog, probably tomorrow, maybe later tonight, but probably tomorrow, uh, just announcing that as well. So that's very exciting. I hope you guys are pumped up about that too. So you can go leave feedback and go give like little thumbs up what you think of CTP talk and, and all that stuff too. Uh, also the, um, the, the sale is still going on and we'll touch on this a little bit later as well, but uh, the, the one high for one CTP miner is still going on. So if you wanted to grab uh, CTP M that's the CTP miners on hive engine, you can do so. There's a little over a thousand left uh, at the price point that we set. Uh, so they probably will sell out in the next couple of days, uh, depending on any of the whales like Rob come around and start buying them up. <laughs> anyway, so uh, if you guys are interested in that as well, uh, you can go and check it out. So uh, I, I want you guys to follow along with this and me and Blaine are going to have a lot of fun uh, going over this. That's the PDF right there. So you can check it out. Um, I don't I I don't have it on Twitter. If you're on Twitter or Vim, I apologize. Please do come and hang out with us uh, on on Facebook if you can. 
I guess that that would have helped if we had it. Uh, maybe Blaine or Jen or someone can share it for people on uh, on Twitter. I don't know. I don't know. It's right here though. It's fancy. It's really really fancy. And this is called the pull method of sales by building loyalty. Now, this is something that we've talked about. Uh, it's in the DNA of Click Track Profit. A lot of the stuff that we talk about is the two Bs. So you want to brand your name, and that's through content marketing slash CTP talk. But also you want to build your list. And sometimes this is kind of this, 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 this is this is the the visual representation of people when they hear you need to build a list online. Kind of like that. They kind of they kind of cringe. They kind of they kind of they get in a little turtle shell. It's very very scary for a lot of people that have not yet built lists. But with this method of, of building lists, we're gonna show you guys that first of all, the best thing about this method of building loyalty is that at the end of it, you'll never even have to ask for a sale. Sales are actually a byproduct of following this method. So in ClickTrack Profit, we have training for you guys. It's called push pull. So what you wanna do is you want to be pulling people towards you 75% of the time and 25% of the time pushing. Now this varies depending on the, depending on, on whatever you feel like is, is what you're comfortable with with your list. But this is what really works for us. So the top of the funnel, the top of the, 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 grand, en the grand enchilada, the, the big kahuna is leads. Your business, if you are practicing proper affiliate marketing, lives, breathes, and dies by the leads you're bringing in. So the top of your funnel. So how do you build the top of your funnel is obviously a whole other discussion. It's a whole other topic, uh, which will probably be discussed in future webinars, but just uh, really, uh, you can, I mean, I, I don't think it's up for debate. Maybe there are people out there that'll say you don't need to build the list. I'm not sure, you know, whatever works for you, whatever works for you. Thank you, Ian. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Uh, just uh, con consistency, man. It's, it's actually, it's actually what I'm going to talk about here too, man. So <laughs> good, good, good nugget, man, for sure. Thanks, man. Um, so yeah, leads, the, the debate is up. I mean, yes, I, people will say you don't have to build a mailing list, but me and Blaine, we believe in it. We think that building a mailing list is critical to your business because as we'll see in this PDF, it comes down to loyalty. It comes down to building the relationship, having a conversation, de delivering value to people. And we'll go through each of these steps tonight and hopefully give you guys a ton of value that you can use for your business and, and really get better results. So Blaine, would you say like, I mean, when it comes to building like leads up, do you think that's like, is there a debate or it's a, uh, you know, <laughs> what do you, what do you think when it comes to the top of your funnel and building leads for email lists? No, um, I don't think there is a debate. Uh, leads are at the top of the funnel without a doubt. Um, I've worded it differently in the past, but it always starts off with leads and, and you have to get traffic to get to your leads uh, and go from there. But that is realistically the, the simplest method of putting it at the top of the funnel there. Because that's where everything starts. You get somebody interested in something, they're a lead. If you're thinking about buying a new car and that car has to be a Volkswagen, you're a lead for the Volkswagen dealership, plain and simple. It will turn into much more as you drop further down the funnel, but a lead. That starts, that's starts at leads. I yeah. mean, this is, this is why we tell you guys to go and constantly build content, constantly be engaging with people, constantly commenting on other people's blogs because people will notice that. And if you have your subtles, uh, your subtles, <laughs> if you have your funnels set up, I would set up and funnels together into a word. It was subtles. If you have your funnels set up properly, all of that attention that you're generating by engaging with people, people will notice and they'll start poking around and they'll start going to your blog or your lead capture page or your Facebook profile or your hive profile, your CTV talk profile, whatnot. They will go to you the more you're doing of this stuff. So, Building, building a, a good funnel for leads is critical. Well, next down in the PDF is value. Here's the thing. Giving, getting someone's email address is only part of the battle, right? Because email addresses are like throwaway these days, right? It's like uh, me and Blaine see the, the, the usernames and email addresses of people that join ClickTrack Profit. And some of these are hilarious, like junk mail at Gmail. Like, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, 
email is really tough. It's still the best ROI, I believe, when it comes to marketing, but it's tough because so many people, like, you don't wake up one morning and go, you know what? I'm going to go sign up to a bunch of lists today because I want more email. Like it just, it just doesn't happen. That's not what people are thinking. So value and delivering value to people, the leads is so critical. It is so important that you don't just do people join your list. You're like, Hey, I got really great offers. You should come check out and uh, you should buy my stuff because it's awesome. That's not delivering value. You've really got to hammer home the point that yes, you have joined my list and I value you. So I'm going to deliver value back. Thank you for delivering the, like joining my list. Here is something awesome. Whether it's a PDF, whether it's a webinar, whether it's recorded videos, whether it's a download, whether it's training, whether it's uh, something that could really help them, whether it's a free giveaway, whatever, you have to remember that you've got to lead with value. That you can't have a conversation. You can't build a relationship. You can't develop loyalty if someone doesn't feel valued. Massive. This is huge. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to calm down because I'm really excited about this topic and see if Blaine wants to touch on anything about this too. <clears throat> I do want to hit on Rob's comment before I move into uh, value. Uh, relationship building, mailing list, list. It doesn't matter what you call it or the methods that you use, you're building a contact list of people uh, in some sort. The reason that John and I don't necessarily use the phone number attribute is because of scalability. It all starts with one and we know and understand this. And then one becomes 10 and then 10 becomes 100 and 100 becomes 1,000 and 1,000 becomes 10,000. At 10,000 people, at 100 people, I can't call every single one of them. That's just, it's too much of my time but I can email them very quickly, very easily. And then when they reply, then I can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation and increase that value with that lead itself. So that's, that's my focus on list building and mailing list building and relationship building or whatever. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to send emails out and I want people to reply to them and I want to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation and it's not going to happen with a hundred people. Just like if I call a hundred people, a hundred people aren't going to answer. They're not all going to want to talk to me. They're not all going to be interested in anything that I have to say. That's why our focus is the, the email specific piece because of scalability. It's great for one person, five people, 10 people. It doesn't work well from what I've seen with a hundred people, a thousand people, so forth and so on. Amazon doesn't call you every single day and go, Hey, we got a deal for you. <laughs> they do email me though and let me know. And I'm quick to go, you know what? I need that. Bye. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, so you want to touch on value or no? Or just keep going? It's up to you. Man. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you hit you hit it home uh, with the value piece. And I just wanted to hit how that, that lead and we turn it into the value there and with the relationship building. Um, so that's all that I wanted to hit on there. So cool. Um, so with the value, and this is this is coming back now to push pull. So Listen, let me be brutally honest with you. And you guys know from Monday night that we have no problem with pushing. We have no problem with the push mentality. That's why we said, hey, there's a CTP uh, minor sale on Hive Engine right now for miners. I mean, this is, we are okay with push. We got to pay bills and that's totally fine. But see, this is where you can strategically get to that level without really feeling like it's a push, or let's say. Okay. So, how this works is your leads, you know, it's the top of the funnel, you deliver value to them. Now in the value emails that you're sending to these people, it's you're giving them, you're giving them. Now, instead of saying here, here's a bunch of stuff, here's a bunch of stuff. Now I want something from you. Now you open up the conversation. This is what a lot of marketers in, in circles around the interwebs call the indoctrination email. And this really, really, really is so powerful. And there's a bunch of people that have hired me to write their emails for them. And they'll know that that's the first email I always write and draft for them in the email series. It's the indoctrination one. And what does this mean? An indoctrination email is basically for the, for the reader, the subscriber to get to know you, AKA we are trying to start a conversation. This is the conversation starter. So instead of saying, Hey, I'm John, I'm Blaine. We want to sell you CTP. We're going to say, no, I'm John. He's Blaine. 
Come to our webinars on Thursdays and Mondays. Come to Twitter. Come and engage with us on Twitter. Come and hang out with us on Facebook Live. Come to Vim. Come to Hive. Come to CTB Talk. We're pulling people. This is the push-pull. We're pulling people towards us so that a conversation can happen. When a conversation happens, now that lead is no longer just a name on your database. It's a real person. And you have the chance now, this is the ne next nugget, to form the relationship. And we'll touch on that in a second. But the conversation starter is the indoctrination email. It's a way to pull people towards you to get them to continue the conversation with you. Because email marketing, traditionally, is a push method. It is getting into someone's inbox. You're pushing into their inbox. So now is your opportunity to pull them back. So it's, you can't really have it like, yeah, they can reply to your email. And if someone wants to reply to my email, by all means, we'll respond to them. But generally, an email is the sender sending to the receiver. So now let's transition that. Let's bring people towards us and have them in conversation with us. And we can conversate easier than ever before in 2020. We can conversate right here live, like Kimberly just said right there. She's talking, Rob's talking to us, Renee's talking to us, Scott's talking to us. We can talk to people in a live environment. The conversation has started. It has begun. It is ongoing. Now this brings us to relationship. And this is, if someone was brand new to this show, and if I were to say, we're gonna do a giveaway today, but Michael Dell is not allowed to win. If you were brand new to the show, you would go like, that's really rude. Why aren't they gonna, why aren't they gonna give, why aren't they gonna give Mike a chance to win? Like what did Mike do? Now, if you have been conversating with the community and there's a relationship formed, you understand the backstory. Because it, now it's not like Mike, we have the story of Mike winning all the time overnight. This is months and months and months of Mike seeming to have a horseshoe every time he comes to these events. But the point being is that the relationship that we have with the community here that you guys all got with each other, you get the joke because it's community. We've developed a relationship. This is magical, magical, absolutely magical. Beta Lab, what's going on? There you go, Armando, I, I put two and two together now. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, so yeah, so, leads let's let's go through this again your leads are just names in a database but then when you deliver value to them they start paying attention to what you're offering the conversation starts because you're pulling them towards you which develops the relationship and the relationship is the key this is community and i'm going to bring it all home but we're going to we're going to listen to blaine talk about relationship building and how important community is to the to building loyalty and and ultimately sales i want to hit on uh conversation a little bit too there was a program that i joined probably 10 years ago uh 10 12 years ago um and it was a program that created the conversation for you this is your sponsor this is their email address you need to send them an email right now and I thought that was brilliant and absolutely amazing. So I emailed my sponsor and they never emailed me back. And it was horrible. But they got that much right. It's the people that mess it up. Um, so you have to start that conversation one way or another. The primary way that we talk about it is that indoctrination email that John had explained earlier. Come to my Facebook, come to my Telegram, come to my CTP talk, come to this, come to that, come to these, come to those create a conversation with them. Even if it's a, something as simple as replying to the email that you sent and creating an email conversation, which then builds into Telegram or builds into Discord or builds into Facebook or whatever. That's where it starts is that conversation and it builds there into that relationship. And that's, that's that part where that push pull comes into play and all and everything starts to just weirdly line up and starts to work as that relationship builds and builds and builds you get what's called loyalty oh see that see how he he this is what he did folks he literally underhand pitched this to me and i took it and put it on a t-ball stand and now i'm going to knock it out of the park ready here we go 
Loyalty, here you go. This is the, the quintessential aha moment of all sales online. And I don't care where you are, you can't beat loyal customers. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's just, it's impossible. Yes, you might make a big sale from someone who falls for your pitch the first time they hear it, but that's not loyalty. We're not talking about a one-off sale here, folks. We're talking about the top of the food chain, the top of the food chain for, for not only customer acquisition, but customer relationships, customer everything, customer loyalty. This is it. And here's why. Um, I did the math on something. Uh, I used to do these things, and I still do. We, we send handwritten notes out. Now, it's calmed down a bit because of COVID and everything right now. But uh, once COVID slows down, we'll be picking it back up. But what we do is we have a little uh, database of people that when they join CTP, they can fill out their username. And I, I, we pick a few names every week, and I handwrite notes and send them off to people just as a thank you. No, go buy anything, nothing like that. Just a, a handwritten note, a CTP sticker, and a thank you for joining CTP. Let us know how we can be of assistance. Now, doing the math on this stuff, the stamp costs me, depending on where you live, but the max is $2.50. If it's going to Eliana, for example, um, it's, it's $2.50 for me to send a stamp to her. A uh, stamped envelope with with a sticker and a letter. Uh, it's it's a dollar if I'm sending within Canada. It's like a buck fifty if I'm sending to the states. It's uh, the piece of paper might be five cents. The pen I use to write it might the ink might cost a quarter of a penny. Uh, the, the the sticker I got a pack of fifty stickers for for five bucks or something like that. So that it's generally the most I'm going to pay for this thing is three dollars right? That's the most I'm going to pay for a handwritten note, uh, a stamped envelope with a sticker and just a thank you note. Three bucks max. Now, Eliana, I'm using you as a guinea pig. I apologize. Eliana, not only is out there sending emails about our seminars and other seminars in the CTP community, she's taking action every day. She's delivering tons of value to Hive, tons of value to CTP Talk. She's out there consistently. On top of that, she's also a paying customer of ours. She's not like she's not paying tens of thousands of dollars, but over the lifetime, if you take what she pays and the fact that we have taken the time to go leads, value, conversation, relationship, loyalty, and then even just a little three dollar handwritten note to her. The ROI of that is unbelievable. Like you, you can't even measure it. You can't measure that at all. Now, I'm not saying that everybody's going to go out there and find an Eliana. Eliana's one in, in, in a billion, four billion, eight billion, whatever. But you see what I'm saying? Same with people like Jen. Jen is out there crushing it all the time. She's out there on Twitter right now, uh, putting out the link for the PDF. The relationship that we formed with Jen over the years started as this. Jen didn't know who we were a couple of years ago, but she started in the process, in the process. Now, she, it's, it's, much, it's more than just like a loyal customer, right? Like this is a community of people that are loyal to each other, that will support each other. This is awesome because, and this is, again, I'm, I don't, don't mean to use Jen as an example and Eliane an example. This is just anybody can take this method that takes time, but anybody can take this method. And then here's the, if you see the PDF, and here's the PDF right here, we're going we're gonna to put it up again for anybody that didn't get it yet. The last bit of that PDF is that sales are a byproduct of all this. I never, ever have to go to Eliana or Jen, or Zoltan, or anybody in the CTP community, especially you guys that are here every week, and say, can you buy this from me? We don't have to do it. Blaine never has to go, hey, Lisa, can you buy this from us? Because we really think that you'll love it. It just, we have done this, the leads, the value, to conversation, to relationships, to the loyalty, this is the nugget. This is the golden nugget. This takes time. This takes massive amounts of actually caring about people and actually caring about a community. But if you do this, you never have to pitch. You never, I never have to get online here and go, I got a great offer for you guys. You don't take it now. You're, you're done. You're finished. You're never going to achieve anything. You don't buy this right now, man. Buy it now or else. Like it's just, it doesn't happen. You follow this method. 
You put in the effort in the community, the loyalty will be there, I guarantee. I guarantee you. Because people will feel valued, especially when you're having the conversation with them, especially when you're developing the relationship with them. This is the nugget. This is the grand aha moment of all sales online. This is not overnight. This does not take a second to do. You've got to build it up. And I'll touch on it a little bit more after this, but I'll, I'll let Blaine talk on the grand. Uh, he, he underhand pitched it to me. I took it on the T-ball stand and just knocked it out of the park, but I'm going to let Blaine see what he says. We can, we can easily relate this to many, many products or merchants or businesses out there. At the end of the day, the, the goal was never to sell a million dollars worth of product. The goal is to build the relationships and build the loyalty. You have people, and I see it all the time, especially on Facebook, where they just complain and complain and complain and they complain about like Walmart. And then where do they go to do all their shopping? Walmart, <laughs> because they built up that loyalty over the years. And Walmart has consistently provided them every single thing that they have needed. That's the only place that they go. They refuse to go anywhere else. And you see it when Amazon first started out. Nobody trusted them. Nobody liked the idea of purchasing things online right. and then having it shipped to your house because nobody trusted anybody. But in time, Amazon built up that trust and they build up the sales. And they build up the loyalty from that. And that's how it works. The goal isn't for us to make a sale to you. If our goal was to make a sale to you, every Monday and Thursday, we would be like, hey, buy this thing. Because we've got awesome things. Because we do have awesome things. <laughs> but no, we don't this... do that. Um, every once in a while, you'll hear us talk about something uh, like the Hive, uh, not Hive, the, the, CTPM, the CTP miners uh, being on sale. But we just wanted to let the community know that we dropped the price because high went up. Yep. They're still there. Um, if people want to buy them, buy our stuff. Yeah, buy our stuff, please. Please buy our stuff. We have people to feed. We don't have to sit up here every <laughs> single day and yeah. talk about how we're selling things or the next thing that we're selling or anything like that. Our goal is to build the relationship and not build the sale or the commission. Because, because those th will this come is the beautiful thing. The sales will come, right? That's, that's the thing. And I don't think people understand that process, that you work on the people, you develop the relationships with the people. Like I said, the sales are a byproduct of that. They will come. You know, one of my ex-business partners famously said, uh, you know, like the, the quickest way to make money online is to take your time trying to make money online. So the quickest way to make a sale online is to take your time with it and develop this, this model especially because I don't know about you guys, but when, 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 you know, like I get emails all the time and I, like all the emails are like, buy this, buy that. And it's just like, it's cringy. It cringes me. It's just like, you haven't even taken the time to develop a relationship. Like you haven't even like, you know, like, and I get it. There's big companies and these big internet marketing superstars that have millions and millions of customers. How, but like, you know, like don't pitch me every single time you're trying to get in contact with me. Like, that's the thing. Like, let me calm down a little bit and learn what you've got to offer, you know? And if I like what you've got, I will support you. If, if you deliver the value to me and want to have a conversation and then a relationship, absolutely, Russell. That's huge. And that's, that's all this social media stuff is. Like, let's be honest. This, all this stuff is just digital word of mouth. All of it. All of this stuff is just digital word of mouth. And word of mouth is the most powerful form of sales in the history of mankind. Because you know what? If Blaine Jones tells John Olson, I've got a really cool thing that I just bought and you'll love it, I'm going to listen. Because that testimonial, that social proof, what, what, you know, we're talking sales. Why did I go and ask people to make little comments on the CTP uh, Facebook group last night? I went and I said, listen, we're trying to sell these CTP miners. So if any of you guys have had really good experiences, don't lie. If you haven't had any good experience with them, don't say it. But if you've had good experience with the CTP miners, go out there on the Facebook post and just say, hey, I've had really good experience with it. It's, 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 people will trust that a lot more than me and Blaine going, hey, you should buy our stuff, right? So we want a community to, to get out there and support each other. And this, folks, uh, and I hope people see this, they print it out. You can laminate it if you want. I laminate everything. Um, absolutely, Candy. I mean, that's the thing. It's too many push button 
be all end all marketing plans and marketing gimmicks that just don't do what they're advertised. There's nothing like I got interviewed today for a podcast. Um, and, uh, we were talking about CTP and the, and the, and the guy asked me the question. He's like, you know, what's the number one uh, piece of advice you could give people to avoid certain pitfalls when they're joining an online business and stuff. And I said, listen, one, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, but there should not be a rush to make a sale. Like if you, if you have a certain amount, a limited amount or whatever. Yeah. But like, if you're forcing people to separate them from their money in like 20 seconds or less, that just feels weird in 2020. It really, really does. So the biggest advice I could do is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, but do your due diligence, dig into things, ask questions, look for the community, ask the community what they think. This is why you spend the time developing the community. So they become raving fans. This is how you do this. It takes time, it takes effort. But if you follow this method, you will never have to ask for a sale ever. Guaranteed. Ta-da. I hope that was valuable. Please buy our stuff. I'm just joking. Stuff. <laughs> There's a sale There's somewhere a sale. on something. Look, this look, push pull, very effective. There's a pull. The 75% is pull, but push is, is totally part of affiliate marketing. If we don't ask for the sale, we're never going to get it. I just think that this way of doing it, taking your time, developing the relationships, the building of it, this works a lot more effective than, than me and Blaine putting out emails every single day saying, buy our stuff, buy our stuff. This to me just works in 2020 a lot better because it's all about relationships. It's all about long-term. You've got a long tail this thing. So it's not like... I hope it's pretty obvious that we've designed a program that you guys see from day one, never says you're going to make a million bucks overnight. Heck, even the program that you can start earning today on even says in the first lesson, you're not going to make a million bucks from this program. So we, I hope that we've got expectations calm down a bit when you get into the CTP community and CTP swarm. Uh, but, uh, other than that, man, it's just, uh, you know, this is a blessing doing what we do. And, uh, and, and, and I hope that this stuff, I hope it kind of spurs something in your head that says, you know what I can make, anybody can make money online. I just, if, if it feels weird for you to be pitching all the time, it's because it probably is like, take your time, develop the relationship, lead with value, develop the portfolio of value that we talk about on CTP talk and hive. Like, do these little things consistently because all through this, and you saw what, you know, that Ian, Ian came, just came online here. Ian Bakewell was just here and just said, you know, dude, you were doing this 10 years ago and you're still talking about teaching and this and this and this. It's like consistency. This is, you got it, all this stuff. Like it's almost everything, even leads. The, the loyalty thing is not something that happens every day. The leads you can always work on. You can be consistent about that. You always got to be delivering value. You always got to be having conversations with people and you've always got to be building relationships. So it's consistency is the key to all of this. Just keep doing this stuff. Oh, I'm not getting results. How long have you been doing it? Three weeks. I learned how to turn my computer on in three weeks. I mean, you know, I like, you got to give yourself some time here, folks. You can't, there's nothing worse than someone getting online going, I'm going to make a million bucks in 30 days, 29 days in, they give up. I'm going to have a sip of water. Another, another thing to understand is getting from leads to loyalty. That timeline isn't set. It's going to be different for every single person, every single time. It's never going to be the same. You're not going to go leads to value to relationship in three days. It just doesn't work like that. Everything is going to be different and spaced out accordingly and according to that person's own timeline and how they feel that where they should be. There are people in the CTP Telegram group that have been in there for uh, before I got there that are just now coming out and saying, hello, I'm here. There are people that are starting to create on CTP Talk that have been STEAM members from back in the day. Um, but it has taken that time to get to where they're at. And that timeline isn't specified and it can take much longer for others. Not to mention the ones that can just completely fall off of it. Because you can't stop Pokemon. You can't catch them all. So, right. 
And, and you're not supposed to, right? I mean, this is something that we've talked about for years at CTP is, you, you know, worry about a list of three, not 3,000. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having 3,000 3, 3, people on your list. That's fine because, you know, you always want to be bringing people into the top of your funnel with leads. But when you focus on one, two, three, four, five, six people, you can actually develop the relationship and have the conversation. Now, what, what ultimately what you want to do is you want to train people and you want to coach people and you want to get people excited so that they start doing the same thing you're doing and they bring more people. I'm not even talking about an MLM structure here. I'm just talking about good affiliate marketing businesses. You want to get people earning and developing their own businesses from what you've taught them and what you've trained them to do so that they become raving fans and start sharing what you have done for them, but they start building their own teams and stuff. So by all means, keep building the list, but worry about manageable, you know, three, five, six people at a time. Don't think, oh, I want to get 10,000 people on my list. You're going to get burnt out. You know, it, 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 listen, it's really easy for me to say, hey, I engage with people on CTP Talk and Hive right now because I'm getting maybe 20 or 30 comments. Now, imagine if you're a social influencer like Gary Vaynerchuk, who when he puts a post out, gets 700, 1200 comments on his post. Okay, you know, unless you have like an assistant that could go answer everything, that's still not very genuine, but uh, I get it. But right now for all of us, there's no excuse for us to not be engaging with each other. There's no excuse for us to not be commenting on each other's stuff or, or, or upvoting each other's stuff or, or, or networking with each other. There's no excuse for it. There's none. If me and Blaine can manage all this stuff and we've got CTP and listeners and CTP talk and starting today, and we got all these different web properties. If we can manage this, anybody can. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to speak for Blaine. Blaine's obviously, you know, superstar and stuff, but me, I'm just, I'm a high school dropout. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> it's most likely not to succeed in life is me. I figured this thing out. I figured out that community is key relationships, co communication, this stuff, conversations. I've, I've figured this stuff out really early that this is what's important. Spend your time delivering the value, having the conversations, developing the relationships. The sales will come because the loyalty will be built. Ta-da. Thank you for listening. I'm going to stop the recording because it's going on to 37 minutes now and we can't have the dear sirs upset. So thank you three speak for watching. Appreciate you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy the recording. Come by to the live events because we're about to give away a bunch of things. So come to the live events. We smell okay. Sometimes. <laughs>